and the angel to take Manhattan um, for a variety of reasons. Uh, but I think Asylum as a, as a piece of work is, is, is pretty great. I, I love it. And, it. and it brought the Daleks back in a really brilliant way, which I'm pleased about. I think I agree with you. I mean, it's a difficult one because they're all such big episodes and they're all so different from each other. But you're like, there's nothing like walking onto set and you're in Spain and you're making a Western. And that's the sort of thing that you don't get to do very often. And it just felt really special. But there's something just so wonderful about walking onto the biggest set that like, we've ever had on Doctor Who and seeing that there and seeing more Daleks than, we've ever, you know, than, than have ever been assembled together before. And you're like, okay, there's a Doctor Who. It's like loads of Daleks and Stevens over excited. And this is actually called Making Doctor Who. And that, I think that was my favorite because it just felt really epic. Okay, we've got a question for this, this young man here who's been, uh, who's ran up to me and said, Oh, here we go. So, here we go. Hello, young man. There we are. There's, there he is, there's a doctor. That's Karen. What's your question? What's your name? What's your name? Elliot. Hello. Elliot. 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 Hello, Elliot. Nice. You look very good. So, what's your question?
And it went to Caroline in the issue for me in many places, not such as the United States and, as well as, and other new places have got to series. Now, what locations have been afraid of and what also locations have you got that we can be hinted at to come? To come? Well, I think it's no secret because we were stalked by loads of fans fairly recently that we've shot for a couple of days in London. Um, and for the rest of the series, we have been in many, many exciting places, but they've all pretty much been somewhere in Hull and Bay. And what has been your both, the both of what's been your most favourite location you've shot in? New York City, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, New York. I mean, everywhere you point a camera, it's glorious. And it, I just, that place has a sort of energy and a will and a courage that I think this is, this is, and we spent this has been streamed live online to uh, a lot of our American cousins over there. So, so what is it like for you, Max, going out to meet the American audience and how do they react to you in the series? Well, it, I mean it's been really exciting in the past two or three years. You see the growth and the evolution of the show over there and, and, and more and more fans coming on board and um, it's wonderful, it's a wonderful thing. It's like like, like this. It's like this, all the yeah. time. Okay. You know, and, and, and it's, um, it's exciting. They're very supportive. Now, one of the things I've got to do is it's got a, an amazing atmosphere on the set, we understand. So, what kind of funny memories have you got from your time on the set? With Karen and Arthur, I've got so many. I mean, dancing, lots singing. of dancing, singing, lots of singing. It was, it was like sort of two obnoxious brothers poking their sister all the time, going, <laughs> We're bored. Play with us. We're bored. Play with us. Play with us. Play with us. I'm bored. You know, and, and poor character. She takes him so. I mean, she's got the best sense of humour. And and then outside of work, we just seem to have a right laugh. And you know, it's it's um that's that's the most amazing thing I think about the show is the relationships that you get with like Stephen and Karen, Karen Arthur, Jenna, wherever it may be. But um I don't know. Just yeah, we created a whole language. Uh, <laughs> I think someone's saying they want to release your language on YouTube in an instructional video. Oh, okay. Uh, right, yeah. Hey, well, you know, strange things have happened. <laughs> so, uh, we've got time. It's time now for our next set of questions from here in the audience. So, I'll start with the front of this young man. He's had his hand up ever since the first time. So, we'll go for you. Hello, my name is Joshua. Hello, Joshua. Uh, you're my hero, and who's your hero? Oh, wow. Thank you very much. My hero. Well, oh, is it really? Well, yeah. I mean, I've got a corny answer, which is the truth, and then I'm going to go for another answer. So, my hero would be. I think Eric Cantona is amazing. That's not my corny answer. But I, I admire my dad actually. I know it's like I admire my dad, but he, he, he's he's a pretty extraordinary man. So the old man, I think, he's a greedy dude. And then I think. You're in my top five now, Joshua, as well. Yeah. All right, OK. Let's take another question here from the audience. Then, try to head towards someone we've not yet been. Let's go with this empty face and where we are we? All right, you can come in here then. OK, so I'll answer your question. I'm Rebecca. Hi. Um, uh, well, thank you for being here. And the, the Doctor's character's always been quite intense, especially in Italy, I think. Mean. So, do you ever find that elements of the Doctor's character sort of seeps into your everyday life? So, you can see part of like, a quite hell, you know, fishing the custard or stuff like that. Two hearts. <laughs> yeah, things like that. I'm aging at the same rate. That is true. How do people disagree about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not half a man he is, so sadly not. It's, you know, I'm clutching at uh, the idea of being a bit. What's amazing about playing any vaguely interested in acting is that you get to sort of spend time as that person. So, for instance, when you're the doctor, when you're, when you're hanging out with a character like that, which is sort of what you do, if you're running a bar, you can do it as the doctor. But if you run a bar as the doctor, it's a more interesting bar. <laughs> which is basically, because you just, just put like a duck in, you put some of the ducks in and then it can like talk to you. And, uh, you know, it's made of raspberries or something, I don't know. <laughs> so it's wonderful, but, but, but no, I mean, sadly, I, I can't play many of 